barely. Yeah. collection system. Um, <clears throat> here's the one collection box here. You can see it's running off the gutter here and down the regular downspout. Where we've spliced in <clears throat> a little diverter 
and then up in this box is our sand filter and overflow so once the system gets topped up and this is the maximum level it will continue to flow and operate like a normal gutter and shed the water from the house so our our storage for the collection system is actually around the corner in the shade and out of the way didn't want the storage barrels to be you know right here kind of in the way of our parking and potentially other growing space so we ran <coughs> one and a half inch PVC pipe underground and around to the storage system which we'll see in a minute. Uh, the reason to use a big one and a half inch pipe is that with a gravity fed system the pressures are pretty low and so to counteract any um, head loss in the system as the water travels over to the collection system you just use a really big pipe and so you're eliminating that constriction. Um, the exit for the system, we have one right here, that's just for uh, filling um, watering cans and whatnot, anything you want to use the water for. And there's another exit for the system right here, which is directly piped in and connected to the drip irrigation. So the drip irrigation for the garden, we have multiple zones for you to drip, so you can select which areas you want to drip on and then it's just uh, standard drip irrigation tubing and fittings and all of that so uh, here's an example of one of the emitters and you can see it dripping in there just fine head over to the collection and storage area I So, like I was saying, the uh, pipe from the collection to the storage goes underground behind the garage here. And here's uh, an additional collection and filter. And so this collects rainwater off of the other side of the garage. So we have a pretty big, uh, pretty big roof area to collect off of. And there's uh, one filter and collector for each side of the garage. So the pipe comes underground and tees, tees right here and so they're all plumbed together and the pipe continues around and comes out of the ground over here. And here is our our collection. We have four barrels that are about 55 gallons each, so we have around 200 gallons of storage. Uh, the pipe comes out of the ground, and then if you take a look under here, it goes to a manifold system in which the pipes split one for each barrel, um, and they also have valves so that it can shut down individual barrels if needed to repair a leak or, or remove or add barrels. Additionally, we have a, uh, an access panel under here, which I won't completely uncover, but that, this is the lowest point in the system underground. And there's a valve under there, so in the winter we can drain the entire system to make sure there's no water in the pipes at all so when they freeze we won't have any issues underground. So the <coughs> collection systems are at this height because you need an entirely sealed system from the top of where you're going to be filling to. So the tops of the barrels, if you look down there, are at the same exact height as this collection system. So the water in the system fills all the way up to the tippy top of the barrel and the system is full, then the water in this pipe also fills up to the very top of the system. So it's level all the way across the entire system. At which point then our overflow kicks in because the water reaches this, this height here and is no longer going back through the filter 
and is now going to overflow down the downspout so the gutter acts like a regular old gutter shedding the water from the house.